Caused a few power outages in Lafayette today. Traffic lights on the north side were out for about an hour. Power has also been restored in Benton County. 250 Boswell households lost power for about three hours, according to NIPSCO's online outage map. The lights came back on around 4 p.m. Jobs, ISTEP, roads, and fighting drug abuse are what Governor Mike Pence focused on in his State of the State address this evening. But what is likely to gather the most headlines is his words related to the fight over civil rights and religious freedom. In his speech, Pence sided with religious freedom. He told the General Assembly he refuses to sign any bill that is not consistent with the Indiana Constitution, a constitution that says no law shall interfere with the free exercise of religion. I will not support any bill that diminishes the religious freedom of Hoosiers or interferes with the constitutional rights of our citizens to live out their beliefs in worship, service, or work. Pence also said that Indiana should take a step back from ISTEP and take action to make sure teachers and schools are treated fairly and will not affect bonuses or compensation. He also repeated his desire to spend much of the state's surplus on roads and bridges without raising taxes. Democratic Representative Sheila Klinker says she thought much of Pence's speech was very positive and especially agreed with his words concerning education, infrastructure, and fighting drug abuse. But she thinks he was not clear on his position on the civil rights religious freedom debate. He didn't want any sexual discrimination and he wanted gender equity, but on the other hand, he wanted to make sure that all religious freedom stayed as they were. Uh, and I'm not sure, Dan, you can have it both ways. Blinker hopes one or more of the roughly eight bills under consideration can pass that can help tone down the rhetoric from both sides, but she's not sure which ones Pence would support.